is this a flash drive? I made bootable, bootable, Ubuntu, Linux operating system, a distribution of Ubuntu. So I want to install Ubuntu on this um, my laptop there. It is 440p, 3240. So let's um, start the process. First of all, I pick the USB um, flash drive. If you need a video on how to make a Ubuntu bootable on your flash drive, I'll be doing it, which I will still be link to this video. So you just plug it on any of the USB ports. Let's go back to see what's gonna be on the screen. Okay. Finish. just by running it from your bootable flash drive or your CD drive if you made your CD you load it from a CD or you can just install it alongside run it with on the current operating system on your system so it can run with um, Windows on the same system we just I will tell you guys on how to do that later so we'll just click on install because I want to have a knowledge about Ubuntu so I'm gonna click on install and comes to the keyboard layout 
well i might like us i'll leave it on us i'll leave it on um, so us layout then i'll click don't detect keyboard layout i'll just click on continue and then um, all this you can change it later and it goes and it's picking my wi-fi network and this is my wi-fi network but i don't think i don't have i don't want to connect to wi-fi right now, right now. i'll just click on continue we pick some updates so i'll do that later i'll just click on continue and um okay all you see is now asking us whether update and other software so here is asking us what apps would you like to install to start with i'll just click I'll allow the normal installation but there are options from minimum solutions web browser and basic utilities for those that are using maybe lighter os and pc that doesn't require much applications and softwares but i'm using a very good pc that can can do the normal installation so i'll just continue normal installation and you can also click update download update or download that apps for those that are playing trying to use install use um, ubuntu to play games you can install that party software for graphics and wi-fi but I don't think I really need this, I'll just keep it. Continue. And then, this is loading. Saxon installation type this computer currently has Windows 10 on it. You see, it now detected the OS and the and it asks what would you like to do. You store Ubuntu alongside Windows 10, that means all your files and personal files will get. You can choose an operating system you want each time to the computer starts. So when it comes up, when you're on your PC, it asks you which one you want to run, or you can use Dix and install Ubuntu. That means it's going to wipe out all your files, all your programs out, and install where. Well. I said so I need just install just want to do an installation to put to alongside my business thing so I'll just click on it. So it's not asking me how I should allocate storage so how do I do that? You just take this and you can do like this allocate more storage for your files. If you watch oh sorry, just watch let's go back. So if you watch it's not telling me I should allocate storage for Ubuntu. So Ubuntu is just like OS, maybe a minimum of 10 gigs. It's okay for it to run. So what I'll do is I'll just allocate like 100 uh, gig. About uh, let me say, uh, I'll leave 50 gig for about 50 gig for Ubuntu OS to run on top. Then my files will have about 110 or 11 gig. Available. So what I did this is how you allocate space. So this is what you do to allocate space to drive which is what you have like create a partition so how do you do how to create a partition and you had this before you just started doing this so you can use this um so watch all as I click and drag it allocates storage for each other so I'm gonna run it to about 50 gig for or let me say 40 gig which is okay I'm going to then 120 gig for my files so I'll just click on Install now and yeah, I'll say before you select the network partition size, any changes, any previous changes has been built into the tweaks. You cannot do this protection, you say whatever. I just say continue. What is ready to say is before you add the new partition, anything that you change in the new partition is deleted. So I'll just click on continue and it's installing. On your OS now alongside my Windows 10. So, as you can see, it has done that. And say if you want to change this into the other eyes, you can be able to look for them. Which is one right now, just continue because I'm looking for what I did. Now ask me, I should choose my location. It just asks me where I am I'm in Nigeria, so let me pick one. You can pick a glider from here. If you know which part.
part in Africa and country continent to have. So if you watch online, you pick it's Lagos, which is I know Nigeria is not here, so you can type it locally. You can type it locally. If you now see Nigeria, I just type my country locally. You can type it when you start typing, it brings out option for you. So type in you see all the countries that has in. So just click on I to now my search and as on as to select Nigeria so Yeah. 